Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with what I hope is going to be a pretty fun little video for you. This is the Give a Knife, Take a Knife Pass Around Group, started by JT's Knife Life. I'm going to link to him down below. Great channel. Gave him a shout out a little while ago, a year or so ago, when I first did Channels You Should Watch. I just did another one recently, but he was one of the first ones I did. Great guy. He does this really fun thing where, as the name would indicate, he sends around six knives. It starts out with six of his. It goes through a few people, and you can keep one, but you have to put one back. It's really fun. We all get kind of explained why we chose the one we chose and why we're putting back the one that we put back. And it's pretty great. I missed out on the first one. There's a lot more people doing it this time. I'm only the second guy around this time. Uh, Stasa 23 uh, was the, um, I'm sorry, the third guy. Uh, Gear Towards Gear did it and then Stasa 23 and then me. So I'm uh, I'm excited to do this. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure as I'm doing this video. So I know what I'm putting in, but I'm not quite sure what I'm taking out yet. I'm, I'm down to two, but... We'll talk about that later. First of all, let's talk about what we have here. Uh, first of all, we have the QB Eris. I do believe this was put in by Gear Toward Gear. I don't remember what he took. Uh, one of the first higher-end QBs I've touched, I do really like the carbon fiber on it. It is very nice. Uh, kind of a matte texture. It's pretty nice. I like the finish on the blade, the D2. It's, the, it's a D2 blade. I'd really like that kind of stone washy look. Nice tie pocket clip and back spacer. Pretty darn nice knife, I do have to say. But, um... Not really a huge QB guy. So uh, that one uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to keep. But nothing against QB. It's just, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, it, it, I really like it. It's a really nice one. It's probably the nicest QB I've handled. But um, yeah, I don't think that one's really 100% for me. Uh, next up, this one I was very excited to see. This is a Browse Spectre. Uh, I, I haven't handled many Browses. I think only one actually on this channel I've reviewed. Maybe two. Uh, but pretty cool knife i really like the size of it i like the blade it's a you know nice frame lock it is a fairly limited edition they only made 500 of them and uh this one is tempting i have to say g10 on one side i believe it's stainless steel on the other um yeah i'm kind of tempted by this one but i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure uh we'll figure it out here at the end uh next up we have the Boker Kihan, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this one has been modified by uh, JT's Knife Life, which, and it looks really good. The mods he did to it are awesome. I love that pocket clip with that kind of hammered finish. A little bronze touches. Uh, very, very pretty knife for sure. And actually, ergonomically and stuff, it's pretty good. Um, I do really like it, but I don't know. The flipping action isn't that amazing. And I don't know. Again, I'm just not a Boker guy. So that one's out that one definitely i'm not going to um the next up would be the buck vantage pro which this is what stasa 23 put in it does have his fantastic edge on it he is uh, very very good at sharpening this is gorgeous just a perfect mirror polish it is really nice uh usa s30v a really good steel and everything um this one's a bit tempting but again I'm just, the, the action isn't that awesome, and I'm just not a huge, a huge buck guy. Um, I don't hate them, but uh, I really like the, uh, for example, it was the uh, the back lock, the strap lock one. Um, that I love that knife, and the name's totally losing, totally left me at the moment, but uh, I, I did really like that very much. I've had a couple of them, but uh, this one, not so much. Uh, next up, this is another one that's really tempting me. This is the new Spider Co. Insistent. Uh, it's just a, a really cool small spider coat. It's their budget line. It is 8CR 13 MOV want, want steel, but um, I do really like it. It's like the Ergos. Uh, spider coat does small knives so well. It's pretty heavy for the size that it is, um, but I do, and it's pretty thick also handle wise for the size that it is, but it's very comfortable in the hand. It does carry very well. Deep carry wire clip is really nice. I, yeah, again, action's not amazing, but yeah, this one's tempting me the, the most at the moment, I think. And lastly, we have a, a case teardrop with this, I don't think they call it turtle bone or something like that. Uh, this one I, I almost took immediately to give to my daughter <laughs> because she loves turtles and green stuff like this. But, um, uh, and I, she's, I want to get her like a, a little slip joint, but I wound up giving her something else instead. So, um. Yeah, it, I like single blade slip joints though. I, I really do. I like these small single blade slip joints. 
that's my favorite size for a slip joint is just a, a small little bitty one because I don't like stuff rattling around in my pockets, so I don't like some of the bigger ones. So if I was to get a case, it would probably be this. But I hate green. I know it's petty, but I just really don't like green very much. So um, I'm going to, if this one was not green, this is probably what I would take, but it is. Uh, I don't feel right taking the Browse because it is isn't a fairly expensive knife. I think they still go for over a hundred on the secondary market. And I know that JT probably hopes he's getting this one back because I know he really likes it. So uh, I'm going to knock that out. I'm going to knock this out because it's green. The other three don't interest me very much. So it's got to be the Spyderco. Uh, mostly because I have way too many Spydercos. So why not another one? And also uh, I can I can do some content with this one for you guys. So that that is part of the reason why um, I just, I know I can, there's a couple of comparison videos I want to use it for other budget knives in this kind of little big knife category. And I like little big knives. I always have, I like the bulky, small little knives. And uh, even though this is a budget one and it has a steel I don't love very much, uh, I'm really interested in having this for a while and I want to take it apart and clean it up. Because I know a lot of these budget spider coves, I don't know if this one's been taken apart and re-lubed or anything, but they respond really well to that. So um, I would like to do that, do a couple more videos with it and just have it around for a little bit. Uh, just use it in that little fifth pocket. It does fit barely, but, but it does fit in that fifth pocket kind of thing. Um, I, and I And I just love the ergos of it. I really do. I could actually see myself actually really using this. The other ones I don't really see myself using a whole lot. So I'm going to keep the spider co insistent this is mine now so what am i putting back this is a knife that i really liked and in the review i feel like i didn't quite do it justice i said i liked it but i didn't i've liked it more and more as time has gone on uh and i really it almost it, it quietly almost made my top 10 of the year but but it didn't but uh i really like the Real Steel Pelican. I I just think it's cool. Uh, I like the, the graphics on the thing. I like all that. You know, D2. Nice, really good action. Really, really comfortable. With all this stuff going on on the scales, it didn't. I didn't think it was going to be that comfortable, but it really is. Kind of harpoony blade that I don't really love that much, but I this one works great. The landing spot is just perfect. I really like it, and um, but I'm going to send it on. So and. It, money matches up so i didn't want to take something more expensive and give something cheaper so we're gonna do this so the real steel pelican is what i am putting in i know a lot of you guys that are going to be getting this i know the guys are going to be getting it, a lot of our reviewers i know that they haven't had a chance to handle it so it'll be good for them too to get some new content out of it all that stuff so i'm taking the spider co and putting in the real steel pelican and now they will go on to uh I believe they go to uh, Everyday City Carry Reviews. Uh, Ray, I'm, I'm sorry if I don't remember <laughs> the name of the channel, right? I'm such a terrible person. I will link to him down below so that you can uh, check out and find his channel. And JT's Knife Life, uh, awesome guy. And he's putting up a little playlist of all these. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's a fun little exercise to do. And I really enjoyed it. Um, and I was very excited to get stuff and get to play with it. And I tried not to watch other people's reviews. I failed miserably. I still did. I knew what was coming before I got it. But I encourage guys to not watch them if it's coming up. If you're a reviewer that is a YouTuber that is going to be getting these. Or uh, some Instagram people are on it too. Um, yeah, don't don't look. It's, it's, it's fun just to not know what's going to show up. So I'm eager to see what everybody else does and what winds up going back to JT at the end. Those are always a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.